quick video for you today, and you're gonna to wanna to pay close attention if you have a FreeSky radio, or if you use FreeSky receivers with third-party radios like Radio Master or Jumper. You probably know by now that FreeSky has made a change in their firmware, where if you have firmware version 2.0 or newer on your radio, you can't bind to a receiver unless that receiver also has firmware version 2.0 or newer. If you wanna know more about like what they did, why they did it, and what is and isn't compatible with each other, I'm gonna put a link to a video in the end cards at the end of this video where I go into that. But what I wanna look at today is this. This is the FreeSky website where you download the firmware versions. And you can see here, ACCST firmware version 2.1.0, that's the version that they want you to be using. And if we look at access firmware, we can see version 2.1.0 as well, although some of the pre 2.1 firmwares are still available over on the access side. If we look at the ACCST side, there is an option here, history firmware download. And if we click that, we'll get this zip file, which does in fact contain the older 1.9 version firmwares for the RxSR receiver. Now here's why I'm making this video for you today. Some people have reported to me that they have gone to the FreeSky website trying to find the older firmware for a certain radio or a certain receiver and they haven't been able to find it. In some cases, that's just user error. People just didn't find the link. But some people are worried that FreeSky may take these firmwares away at some point and make it so you can't get them. And some people have even reported that some FreeSky receivers are now shipping with the 2.x firmware on it, which means that if you have a radio with the older firmware on it, and for some reason you don't want to or can't upgrade, these new receivers are coming and you can't use them. The point is this, whatever hardware you've got, you should be able to put whatever firmware you want on it. And just in case someday FreeSky takes away the ability to download this older hardware, this guy, it's Blunty. He's a, a patron of mine over on my Discord server. He has gathered up all of the firmwares and put them into a Google Drive. And you can go to that link and you can get the older firmware for the receivers, right? RxSR, you name it, you can get the firmware, both the access and the ACCST version. And on top of that, for the modules, whatever module you've got, R9, R9 Lite, XJT, etc. Thanks to It's Blunty for pulling this all together. Uh, hopefully we'll never need it. Hopefully FreeSky will continue to make these firmwares available for as long as people are using these receivers, but just in case we're backing them up. I guess I should say that the reason that they're going to the 2.x firmware is because there is a bug in the older firmware. Not everyone has ever experienced it, but when you do experience, it causes a channel lockout and basically you completely lose control of your aircraft, which is kind of a big deal. So the most responsible thing to do would be for everyone to upgrade to the newer firmware. But suffice it to say, there are reasons why some people prefer not to do that. And that's a decision that really you have to make for yourself. That's gonna do it for this video. Happy flying. What are you doing in here? The least you could do is subscribe or join my Patreon or like just here's another video I picked out for you. Jeez.